Welcome to Tinkernut.com's videocast. With the popularity of the internet continuing to rise, blogs have become more and more popular. People always want to post what they're thinking or what they know and share it with others. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make your own blog that's 100% customizable for free. So the first thing we want to do is to find a hosting provider. And this will be found at www.awardspace.com where you can sign up for a free account that will support uh, WordPress, which is going to be the blog software that we're using. So what you want to do is just sign up for an account for the plan. Make sure you choose the free one. And then also you can choose free subdomain um, so that you don't have to pay for a domain name. And then for this, just type in the security code and click continue. Fill out that information and then just agree to the terms of agreement and click continue. And what they'll do is send you an email with all of your account information in it. So definitely hold on to this email or print it out because it has your username and password in it, which we will be using later. All right, so the second step is to actually set up your account. After you receive the email with your login information, just log into AwardSpace and click on Website Manager. And then click on FTP Manager, and what you want to do is get the information um, for your FTP uh, uh, login. And if you don't have any there, just create a new one. And then the next thing you want to do is get your database information. And the same thing applies here. If uh, you don't have one, then just create one using the form above. And make sure you log this information and print it out, because we will be using it later. All right, the third step is to download WordPress. So you can either search for WordPress or go to wordpress.org slash download and uh, download the WordPress uh, zip file. And then just extract it. And once it extracts, open it up and double click on the README file that's in there. And this will give you instructions on how to install WordPress and set it up. And as you can see, uh, the first thing we'll need to do is um, edit the WP config sample file to just say WP config and then we'll edit it with just a text pad editor and the first thing you'll want to do is change the database name to the database name that was on the on your award space website and then do the same thing for the username now for the most part uh, these should be the exact same thing and then type in the password that you created for um, your database account and that that should be on the website as well and then for the database host um, this will have been mentioned on your on your website page also so just enter in that information and then save it and then the next thing you want to do is download a free FTP client so that we can upload these files the one that I like to use is called FileZilla and you can uh, either Google it or just use the link above and we can download that as well so just save the file and then install it and next next and basically the defaults are fine for this so once it is installed the fifth step would be to run the FileZilla program and then upload everything as it says in step four so go ahead and open up FileZilla and create a new account by clicking in this little on this little icon in the upper left and select a new site and then just type in any name for it and then in the host position um, type in your host name which would be whatever your domain name is dot awardspace dot com it's what you would type in your web browser and then for the server type select FTP for the logon type select normal and then type in your FTP username um, for the user and then just type in the password that you created and this should be the same one that was emailed to you and then you can just click connect and it should bring up your uh, account folder information and then what you will want to do 
is select everything that was in the WordPress folder that we unzipped and just drag it to your FTP site and it will automatically start to upload. There's apparently 471 files. So the last step is to run the WordPress setup wizard and you can do this by going to your award space domain name slash WP admin slash install dot PHP and then just follow the steps that are on that page and it will give you a username and password so be sure to record that because it won't give it to you again and then you can use that uh, username and password that it gave you to log in and then once you log in that's pretty much it your blog is up and ready to go and uh, if you want to change themes you can visit some of these websites and upload it to the WP content slash themes folder on your website. Well that's it. For more go to tinkernut.com.